another great running wagon from the Acura Scale Stable. Hi there everyone, welcome back to the channel, it's great to see you, I hope I find you well. I'm Jennifer Kirk, welcoming you up here to the loft on Weir Yard, and today is a really special day, because we have got an exclusive first look at a pre-production model of one of the Acura Scale MDV mineral wagons and this arrived in the post a few days ago we've got some really good pictures of this that we did share out on the facebook group but fundamentally what makes this really really special is that this is the monday club special commission and this is the model which um, because so many of you guys really really wanted something unique to the channel that you could also add and run on your model railway we commissioned from Acura Scale uh, one of their forthcoming mineral wagons and I'm really, really pleased to be able to now give you the first look at this model. Now, quite apart from the fact this being the Monday Club Commission, it is actually fundamentally one of the MDV type wagons, which Acura Scale have a number coming through in the range and they are selling incredibly well to pre-order and a number of the triple packs have actually already sold out. The Monday Club itself is available through Rails of Sheffield and we've got a link in the description box below to help you out to find it. But do hurry because it's selling incredibly quickly with more than three quarters of the whole production run already sold out. But this is a great opportunity to buy not only a memento for the Monday Club live stream, but also another accurate running number which isn't available in any of the other packs of the MDV wagon. It's also the only opportunity to buy a single wagon as opposed to a triple pack, but without further ado, and with great thanks to Akira Scale for sending this over to the channel, here's an exclusive first look at the Acura Scale Monday Club wagon. <laughs> Now I'm really, really pleased to present here the pre-production model of the Monday Club Special Commissioned Wagon from Acura Scale. Now fundamentally underneath the embellishments that we've had added to this, it is a standard uh, Acura Scale MDV wagon. And as those still are forthcoming at the time of filming this, I thought that this is a, a really great opportunity to also give you an exclusive first look at the Acura Scale MDV wagon in the flesh. Now, uh, Acura Scale are bringing out a whole number of triple packs of these, both the MDO unbraked varieties and the MDV vacuum braked ones. And they're gonna be in liveries to represent from their inception by British Rail right through to the end of their lives. Now added to that, there are three special commissions. Uh, the Monday Club Wagon, which is the only opportunity across the range to buy a single example of these, and I'll talk a little bit more about that later. Uh, but then there's also a triple pack of MC Metals uh, PMV versions coming from Rails of Sheffield. And then also we've got a, a third special commission in a very, very eye-catching orange and black livery as a triple pack and those were uh, colliery internal user wagons and i think that they were commissioned by planet industrials uh, but we will put some information as well about that too and that rounds up the full first release of the mdv wagons now the box itself i'm not going to dwell too much on this but it is very, very heavy duty, and this is representative of the what the production models will look like. But you can't miss the fact that this is a Jenny Kirk special commission. We do have the standard line drawing of the wagon and some information there about what the model is actually of. The label on the end, uh, we've got the catalogue number there, um, which is ACC1086-JK, Jenny Kirk special. And this is running number B312963. The livery is BR Bauxite Era 7. So it's got that MDV branding. Now the fundamental livery on this is unique to this wagon, but it is prototypically accurate before you take into account the additional branding. Uh, and it's one that's not 
uh, repeated across the rest of the Yukura scale releases. So uh, fundamentally, we've got a completely unique uh, identity, which is great if you want to expand your fleet. Also, if you want a single example of these wagons, this is the only release that's available as a single wagon rather than a triple pack. We've also got the YouTube channel's address there on the side as well, which I'm really, really pleased with too. Now, putting the box to one side, inside, and this will be the same across all releases, we've got the typical Acura scale fact sheet with a photograph of a prototype wagon and a brief history. And I'm not going to dwell on this. You can look this up online if you want a little bit more information. Uh, but on the other side, we've got the kind of exploded diagram which shows just how many parts go into one of these Acura scale wagons. So I'm just going to put that again to one side. There's also uh, an extra detail bag. I'm just going to hold that up just uh, there. And we've got some extra brake stretchers and uh, couplings, vacuum hoses as well, which you can add to the wagon. The wagon itself is held in a two-piece plastic insert. I'm just going to take the top out. That is loose on this example, but on the production examples, that will be a push fit and be quite tight. The wagon itself, it's in the BR Bork site and suitable for Era 7, which is the TOPS period. So we've got the MDV branding. So this fundamentally would be a wagon that would be around from some time in the early to mid 1970s through to the end of the life of these in a mainline service in the 1980s. One thing which really does draw the eye is the wealth of underframe detail on these. And being vacuum braked, we do have a lot more than you'll see on the MDOs. Single vacuum cylinder, but a lot of the brake stretcher parts are actually pre-fitted. So I'm just looking to the detail bag here, and those actually appear to be spares. So I'm not entirely certain uh, what uh, is happening there with those but uh, certainly looking at this actually you don't need to fit anything from those detail bags and it may be that that's just for evaluation of those separate parts. We do have the vacuum hoses and the three link type couplings uh, but what I would say about those is that you can't really fit them and keep the slimline tension lock couplings. The actual coupling mechanism itself does have this really nice spring-loaded self-centering mechanism. It is, after all, a slightly longer wheelbase wagon, and that just does ensure that it can get round some quite tight corners. The buffers as well, this is really nice. They are actually all four sprung buffers. So you can see there, sprung and sprung. The door bangers underneath the, the doors themselves, they are really nicely done. And again, separately applied detail, we get a four per side. The livery application is, again, really nice and sharp, as you would expect from a Cura scale. And uh, they have actually done this livery from photographs of the real wagons. So you can see that the top's data panel is accurate for this running number. And I really do like that uh, wagon plate underneath there as well and the extra printing that is on the chassis. The finish with the black too does look really nice. It's got a kind of texture to that paint which works really, really well to give a sense that it is steel rather than plastic. The bulk side of the body is nicely finished. We've got the diagonal white stripe and then we've got the specifics of the JK livery. So there's our graffiti spray tag. We had these put on one side, uh, the reason being that you know, we don't want to be too much in your face, although we have had the empty to wear yard branding, which you can see there, stenciled on both sides. But it is nice and subtle, and of course it's quite possible some of these wagons did gain stenciling for particular flows, just like the MEO versions did too. There's a star on the underframe there for denoting where the vacuum cylinder is. And I particularly like these uh, W irons. You can see there, there's a lot of uh, clear air through where it needs to be. 
and then the bearing houses are really quite neatly finished with the yellow and the horizontal red stripe. Again, the uh, white diagonals denoting the tipping end where the end doors are, and then we've got the rest of the data panels on there too. On the end of the wagons, I'm just looking and checking. I think those, yes, those are actually separately applied. Uh, metal by the looks of it and we've also got a lamp iron which will be used if this was the final wagon in a train to put a red tail lamp on of course being vacuum fitted by the time the end of the lives of these wagons came round there was an agreement with the unions that they could run without a brake van if they were a full vacuum fitted train with no uh, unfitted wagons at the end of that Inside the wagon we've got some basic uh, representation of the inside of the doors and one thing I would say is that this is a great blank canvas for a spot of weathering. Now we did do a video covering weathering of the HUO hoppers again from the Akira Scale stable and I was actually going to weather this um, I was really really keen to get stuck in um, but as Akira Scale did actually point out that as a pre-production model it could potentially become quite valuable and it might actually be advisable for me to keep this in its pristine state so I then decided not to weather it and I'm going to wait until the production wagons turn up and I'll do a weathering video on these. The wheels are a kind of turned metal we've got uh, what look to be three hole disc wheels and they are very very free running indeed the brake blocks all line up with the wheel treads and again they do seem to sit within the radius of the flanges which is something which really does improve the look of these wagons. Overall I'm really really pleased with these. Now I'm not going to give it a score because this is actually my own commissioned wagon and I do need to make that clear and I think it would be a little bit disingenuous for me to give it a score because um, I think uh, people would think that I was biased and actually I'm really really pleased with the wagon. The overall level of detail on these is exactly what you would expect from a Cura Scales wagons. I've not actually seen a dud from any of the ones that they've released so far and this is no exception. I really do like those sprung buffers. It's something that for me it's not a deal breaker if a wagon doesn't have sprung buffers. I'm not really too bothered by that but it's a nice touch that it does have them and the level of spring is such that they do feel like uh, for those people who would be using three link couplings they would actually serve quite a respectable purpose. The rest of the livery on this is subtle but effective. It's a workaday wagon. It will be much improved by a level of weathering which is something which I will go ahead with on one of the production examples but you're here with a kind of blank canvas for whatever level of weathering that you might want to apply and indeed I know a lot of people do like to just keep their wagons pristine. A word of note about the branding, if you actually are not really interested in the JK logo or the empty to wear yard, don't worry, it doesn't really bother me if you take it off. In fact, one of the reasons that the JK logo is on one side only is to make that easier to do. If you want to get rid of them, just get yourself a cotton bud with a little bit of something like tea cut and gentle rubbing will slowly remove that printing, just leaving the plain bauxite underneath. Similarly, you can do the same with the empty to wear yard branding. And what you'll actually end up with is a perfectly faithful, prototypically accurate livery for this wagon in this period. And it's a great way to have an extra ready to run wagon to uh, add to your fleet of Acura Scale MDV wagons. The wagon itself runs really smoothly. It uh, doesn't have a lot of rolling resistance, so it's really good if you want to put together a really long train. It handled the gradients, the twists and turns of Weir Yard with remarkable ease and uh, had no problems running it whatsoever. So again, another great running wagon from the Acura Scale stable. Overall, really, really pleased with these, and I'd like to extend a huge thanks to Acura Scale for working very, very closely with myself and the Jenny Monday Club to bring the very first YouTuber commissioned wagon to the market.
Well, I hope you found that really, really informative. And if you like what you saw, then we've got a link down below, which takes you to where you can buy this specific wagon through Rails of Sheffield, who are handling order fulfillment so that you can order with confidence. But do hurry because they are selling incredibly fast. We've also got a link to help you find all of the other versions of the uh, Acura Scale MDV and MDO wagons through Rails of Sheffield, including including their special commission of their own, which is the triple pack in MC Metals livery. And we've also got a link in the description box to help you find that other special commission in that really eye-catching and attractive black and orange livery triple pack of the colliery internal users. But until next time, don't forget to tickle the like button, share this video so other people can see it too. And also, if you haven't already done so, do subscribe to the channel. You can also head on over to Patreon and help to support the channel if you wish and help us to make the videos that you want to see. And we've also got a whole wealth of merchandise too, which you can find down below, including hoodies, t-shirts, you can gronk it up, do you DMU, My Railway, My Rules, Terrier Fest, it's all there along with the Jenny Monday Club mug and we've also got my books still available too. So uh, get yourself a great bargain, something that you can wear, drink from, stick to things or even run on your layout with the Jenny Monday Club wagon. But until next time, you take great care. Happy modelling. Bye for now. I'd like to send out a huge thanks to everybody who supports me on Patreon. And an extra special huge thanks goes out to Anthony Kidson, Offshore Allen, OORail.co.uk, Michael Lockie, Helen Sink, Peter Bolton, Brian and Dorothy Mudd, Gary Lewis, David Quinn, Sparky107107, George Botterini, Chris Moss, Robert Steers, MD of San Juan Model Company and Grantline Products, Sam Yates, Dale Williams, John N. from NC, NYMR ish, Jonathan Foster, Peter, Graham Foster, Clifford Ison, Larry W. Grant, and NI Railways 4000 class. Thank you. Without you guys, I couldn't do this.